Okay, so it's another time for one of my customised self-build type things and this time it's yet another great big Lego set that I've reconditioned into something else altogether here. Again, I'll put the link in the description to what it was originally, it's something I've already reviewed once before, um, but in this case it's a complete and utter overhaul of that design. Very little from the original design has actually been carried over directly, I've taken the doors and the doors themselves have had to be modified anyhow because of further modifications to the back. And I've taken the front end and the sides and modified those again further uh, just to shorten it and make it smaller because again, this was one of these vehicles where you had too many figures side by side. Kinda, sort of, not always. Uh, if you did try putting them in side by side they would just sort of not work, let's put it that way. Now the doors do lift up like that, they're kind of limited because of obviously the materials in the way there and I've recondition them a bit to sort of work a bit better. They're shorter than they were originally. I've added bits on here. These were originally the chairs in the car and you can see when I lift up here that there's a blue Lego Technic piece there and that's simply because that's how the original uh, base was built on. It was built on the blue bits which would be hidden. Uh, because the doors don't work that well they tend to you know struggle to fit in and they do tend to fall apart a bit. I am thinking about just redoing it but that's basically a carryover from the original design. Uh, nothing else otherwise opens. The rear end gave me quite a bit of trouble because I kept reconfiguring it and I'm kind of happy with the look at the moment although I may still completely redesign it. The rear end is based on the original rear uh, design but I've basically shrunk it down a bit to fit more. I've added more stability to it as well because it does still tend to have a habit to come off quite loose and quickly and easily which you don't want. Uh, and sometimes it's just a bit of a pain to get back on, so there needs to be a bit more stability there overall, maybe a completely different brick. And as you can see, the inside is just completely open in some areas because I just didn't have enough bricks to do everything I wanted to. But I managed to compensate when I've run out of bricks to just sort of give it a sort of, you know, haphazard sort of suspension type feel. Not quite sure if you would ever get a car looking like that in real life, uh, but there you are. I've added just little bits here just to add a bit more flavour and so on and it does fit a Lego figure just it's not quite fitting in properly though I'm afraid to say but it does fit it does actually get in it does stay in quite nicely but that's more because of the side bits there so how does it compare to a Lego vehicle that would fit in the city I hear you say how's that yeah, this thing is absolutely fucking enormous. And that's despite having shrunk the bonnet section down, having shrunk the rear section down, I've kept trying and trying and trying, and it still looks far too big. And then we've got the actual wheel arches here. I've, I was trying to basically get wheel arches over the front and the rear. I basically gave up and just had the front tyres exposed there. The rear works a bit better, but it could still do with a bit more, but the size of the tyres themselves basically prevent me from really having any good curvature there. But I'm kind of reasonably happy with the results. So there we go, that's my foray into customising my own LEGO vehicles and my own self builds out, out of existing sets. Um, so there you go. I'm pretty sure I could probably take this apart again and rebuild from the ground up and make something even better. But that's probably something I'll do at a later point in time. As always, let me know your thoughts below if you've got your own self builds and I'd like to see them, so put them in the comments as well and I'll get back to you on that. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!